a virtual reality VR, system that delivers combined arms training to the UK military has been praised by Royal Corps of Signal Soldiers. Over 40 troops from Tidworth-based 207 Armoured Signal Squadron, 15 Signal Regiment recently test drove the interim combined arms virtual simulation, deployable, ICAVS, D. This computer-based training simulator uses Xbox and PlayStation controllers, VR headsets and steering wheels and pedals to control avatars within a virtual world. Soldiers can test out their driving, maneuver and fighting skills without leaving the comfort of camp. Lieutenant Sam Cuthbertson, 207 Armored Signal Squadron Operations Officer said, The ICAVS is an excellent alternative to using our Bulldog Armored Fleet, with many of the vehicles located out in Germany. It helps us keep our drivers and commanders up to date with their training. This is the first time the Royal Signals have used ICAVs, which also dramatically reduces both the cost and carbon footprint of training compared with a live equivalent. Signaler Paschini, a 207 Armored Signal Squadron Bulldog driver, said, The staff generate different scenarios to test our skills, from crossing rivers to dealing with enemy forces. The controls are very similar to what most of us are used to with our own gaming consoles, so it was very quick to pick up. The ICAV system reached full operating capability last year when the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers tested it during a training event at Tidworth, Salisbury Plain. Using the latest high-specification hardware and defense virtual simulation software, it delivers immersive, tactical training in the Army's Battlecraft syllabus, enabling units to get the most out of their live field training exercises. The system provides the ability to conduct combined arms collective training, mission rehearsal and experimentation in complex environments at a time and place of the unit's choosing. ICAVS D is used by all arms and services in the British Army as well as the Royal Marines and members of Joint Helicopter Command. It replaced the unit-based virtual trainer in April this year. There are currently four ICAVS D units available at any time and the system is easily deployable around the UK and overseas. It complements unit-delivered e-platform crew training to battlegroup-level training, and is contributing to the Army's modernization and transformation plan, Future Soldier. However, no amount of virtual training can completely remove the need for live training. In the autumn, 207 Armored Signal Squadron will deploy to Germany on an armored exercise that will test the skills they have been rehearsing using ICAVS. Designed as a Pathfinder project for the Army's collective training transformation program, ICAVS, D, was procured by Defense Equipment and Support and is developed and delivered by Elbit Systems UK. Martin Fawcett, CEO of Elbit Systems UK, said, ICAVS, D, reaching full operational capability is a significant milestone in our contribution to providing advanced training to the British Army. Our platform will streamline the Army's ability to maintain operational readiness for frontline duties. The British Army is recruiting right now to fill 10,000 jobs across the UK with more than 200 roles to choose from, covering everything from frontline combat and cyber security to helicopter pilots, chefs and support roles.